Now, to find the derivative of something like this, I've got a square root there. Um, pretty much most of the time, before I can do anything, I need to see that in power form. So first thing, I'm going to rewrite the question, so I can rewrite y equals 7. I have x squared plus 1. The square root means to the power of a half. Well, now I have something I'll be able to make a decision about how I would find the derivative. I have a function to a power, so what I want to use here is the chain rule. Um, so I'm going to do it the short way, which is to say the rhyme, which is the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. And I'll say it as I do it. So dy dx, derivative of the outside, I pretend that's one thing and I treat this like a power rule. So I get a half times 7, so that's 7 over 2, times what I have, half minus 1 is minus a half. That's just using the power rule. I'll write in what I had in the brackets. That's the derivative of the outside. The derivative of the inside is just the derivative of this inside piece, which is just 2x. I'll need to out up what I can here first so I can see that 2x or well, times it by the um, half out the front here will cancel out that 2. So if I rewrite this, I get 7x times x squared plus 1 to the minus a half. Whilst correct, it's actually good practice and best practice. Um, if you finish the question, we don't need to do any more calculations with it, to answer the question in a similar form to how it was given. It was given using the square root sign. So we should answer it without the uh, fractional indice. The negative square root means on the bottom of a, a negative index means on the bottom of a fraction. Half means the square root. So this becomes 7x over, this is to the power of minus, x squared plus 1, and that half means it's a square root. So here is my answer. <laughs>